uh, we were anticipating that we would do the lift, the start of lifting operations tomorrow. Uh, unfortunately, the weather situation, f which is forecast for tomorrow and for Wednesday, is not ideal. Uh, but all the preparations are ready, and we are now at 24 hours to start of operations, subject to weather conditions. So by 24 hours, you mean you're ready to go as soon as the weather improves, with 24-hour notice? Yeah, and this means that not only are all the preparations ready on the rec site itself, but also all the... Uh, measures that we have in place from contingency planning, from equipment, from human resources to be able to uh, tackle any oil residues coming out of uh, as part of the lifting operations are already in place and ready to go. So the final part of the operation, perhaps the most delicate, the refloating with everything that it entails, how long could this operation run for realistically? I mean, we're expecting that the operation can take anything from 10 to 20 days, but that is something which is um, very much uh, an estimation right now. It will be dictated very much by each step of the operation, the progress, and for example, the lifting of the stern section. The lifting itself might take two days, three days, then there is a period of stabilization before the contractor can move to the forward section. So it depends what the the stern section, how stable it is um, once it's lifted in terms of uh, water ingress, uh, maintaining fl uh, floatability, buoyancy. So it's, a, it's very much uh, dictated by events.